Alright, in this recording I'll be showing you best OBS settings and how to set them up. Here we go. So, say I don't have this right, I'm gonna just remove it so I can show you how to do it. Just add, right? You can name it whatever, but I prefer having it as main monitor because it's a, I'm gonna set it up to be a display capture, right? So then you go here, click on it, press the plus button, bottom left, then press on display capture can name it main monitor as well oh my bad main monitor 2 and this is what you're gonna see you can choose the display display or your second display which is also handy if you're trying to do double double monitor recordings and you can choose to whether or not to capture your cursor which is in my opinion if you're doing like videos like these don't have it on I mean, have it on, whoops, sorry. <laughs> All right, click okay. And then you're gonna have it set up. It's gonna, it's a little bugged. So you just have to click off and then click back in. All right, so put your transitions and set it. It's probably gonna be in cut, which looks a little bit choppy. Put it to fade and put the duration to 200 milliseconds so it's more smooth and elegant, as I would say. Now we're gonna get into the main settings. Put your stream, if you have a stream key or whatever, you can set it up. There's a bunch of options. And you can put your server and your stream key. I don't stream on Twitch anymore. And for output, this is going to be on simple. Put it to advanced and you'll have all of these options. So what, what you do now, after you do that, make sure audio tracks on one unless you're editing your videos. Uh, put your encoder on this one if you have it available. And presets and bit rates. Bit rates is the speed it sends, I'm pretty sure. Um, make sure your keyframes are at zero. Put your preset, if you have a good PC, like a i7 and a 2060, then put, um, put yours to quality or max quality. If you want more frames, uh, max for performance or performance. And if you have pretty bad input delay when recording, make it any of these. Alright, next, you're gonna go to recording. Alright, you gotta, you can choose, set it up so it looks like this, just your user's not gonna be the same. So then it saves all your, like, recordings or clips, save there. Another thing you can do here is you can change it to MP3, MKV, everything. And here's audio, you keep it at 160, because you're gonna get worse frames if you record better. And make sure to have em enable replay buffer on and make sure you can choose how long you can be, right? How long the clip will be and make sure that this is on 6,000 so you don't, so the clips don't save sometimes if you have it on lower. Next, audio, set it up as normal. Your speakers, your microphone, everything. Make sure your bass and output are at the same that you have your monitor as. And put downscale filter to bilinear. It's pretty much the fastest one there is available. And hotkeys, you can put keys that it start streaming, stop streaming, uh, start recording, stop recording, pause the recording, unpause the recording, start replay buffer, uh, is stop replay buffer. But the thing that you really need to worry about is save replay. You can press any button. I have a 60% keyboard, so I have to do a control Z one. I, you can use this if you want as well, but it's it's pretty nice. Uh, another options you can have is you can show show different ones, and as you add more like add more scenes, you, there will be more of these and more audio, etc., etc. Last but not least, advanced. Uh, you don't really need to have anything special here. It's just the normal. Uh, I really didn't change anything here, and that's pretty much it. Uh, see you in the next one.